get 10 straight for the Funaho Boys volleyball team. They're state champs yet again. They kind of played the underdog role. We're going to get to that in just a second. Let's chat now with Evan Porter, Ian Kinney, Matt Chun, and of course, head coach Rick Toon. First of all, coach, congratulations. Okay, so, so 12 of the last 14. I mean, you've been on a, a, on a tear recently. Just how is it to, to get this and, and how difficult to maintain this kind of dominance? You know, it's just one step at a time. We're really lucky. These guys right here, the staff, Brandon Kikuchi and Gordon Horiuchi, they've been here for a long time. It provides a lot of continuity and a lot of, just a, a lot of stability in what we do. Um, and we never look too far ahead. So. Again, just one step at a time. It seems mundane, but yeah. it's just part of the process. And, and, and can you say that again? Because I think a lot of people hear that and they're like, oh, that's being cliche. But it really is true, right? If you get too far ahead of something, I mean, you're going to lose this moment. It's right in front of you. Yeah, I mean, you ask any one of these boys, we always just talk about the right here, right now. What do we have to do in this moment? Forgetting about the last, you know, the, the history of whatever has happened and then just focusing on right now. So, you know, you can't really... You can't control the past. You know, you don't know what's coming in the future. All you can focus on is right now. Okay, so let, let's talk about the now that was then. Okay, so you guys are down two games to none in the championship match. So was there a moment where you guys just clicked, where something happened? Can you, can you put your finger on one thing? I wouldn't say there's necessarily one moment, but being down two sets to zero is a situation we've been in far too many times this season. So our offense was a little inconsistent, but we were playing some of the best defense we had in our whole year, so just being able to trust each other and come together as a team is what really led us to pulling it off. Yeah, and, and despite all the success that you guys have had over more than a decade, Ian, um, there were some, some detractors this year, right? You guys were unseated going into the state tournament. Did you feel that? Did that fuel you? Um, I definitely think it fueled us only because now we're put in this underdog position and it made our success story all the more better, so I just think it definitely did fuel us as a team. Did, did it feel unusual being the underdog? Um, you know, I don't really have thoughts or comments on that only because, you know, the seating is the seating. It's yeah. just, it is a number at the end of the day. And we knew there was a path for us to come out on top and that's all we were focused on. Yeah. yeah and you, and you took it, you guys took that path. Uh, Matt, when you put on the Punahou uniform, I mean, you know, everybody's aiming for you. You're going to get the best game. I know that's cliche too, but, but, but what is it like? How, how much pressure do you feel at the start of a season? Yeah, obviously there is a lot of pressure being, playing at Punahou and, having to fill the giant shoes of the uh, guys that came before us. But at the end of the day, uh, we're just a guy, we're just a group of guys playing volleyball. You know, this team's uh, good, close friends, and it kind of relieves the pressure that way. Yeah, can, can we talk about that, that rivalry for a little bit? I mean, come at me, you guys have faced each other six times. You lost three, you won three. Obviously, this is a, a rivalry built, built on respect, right? I mean, you, you kind of knew each other a lot going into this. Yeah, they, I mean, they're a great team. They're a lot of our closest friends from outside of school, and it's been great to have another team that we can rival against for so many years. Yeah. Coach, do you, do you look ahead now that the moment has passed? Yeah, we're always looking about how to get better and what's coming up next. So we've already started, you know, thinking about next year or thinking about what we have to do to get better and take the next step in our evolution and development because this team's not fin a finished product yet. We can still get a lot better. Yeah, and I'm sure the evolution involves some of the guys in the back row over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these guys out on the side and look at the future of Punahou Volleyball. But again, the 2023 Buff and Blue State Champion Yay! Boys Volleyball Team. We'll be right back. How's it going? Uh, congratulations to, to Coach Rick and everybody. Great, great 